16-year-old Ella Horvath from Stratham, New Hampshire, has studied ballet since she was a young child. So, you know, at the end of a long school day with other things, then would go and dance, you know, at six, seven o'clock at night for several hours. But things changed after a family trip to L.A. back in February of 2020, just before the first pandemic lockdown. A good month into being at home, Ella started to just complain about being tired all the time. And I'm so tired, I'm so tired. It sort of felt like I was crazy. If I tried to express how the symptoms were affecting me, it would either feel like I am exaggerating or, you know, just making things up. Ella began to have dizziness, and because a doctor required a COVID test before an appointment, the family decided to have antibody tests as well. The test showed she'd had COVID. She was never sick. We never saw her sick. We never got sick. And yet, for over a year of her life, when she's at the height of her health, and on paper, mostly still looks really healthy, she's exhausted and dizzy all the time. Ella's being treated at Boston Children's Hospital's Clinic for Children with Long COVID. Clinics like theirs have sprung up around the country. Her doctor says some patients, like Ella, have been dealing with symptoms for more than a year. If we see kids with physical, social, and psychological consequences of post-COVID syndrome, and these are you know, functional limitations that present real challenges to patients' wellness and their overall quality of life. Early estimates say 10 to 30 percent of COVID cases could result in long-term symptoms. And that list of symptoms is also long. Doctors say long COVID patients often report combinations of these symptoms, and it's not clear which kids will get long COVID. The severity of your initial COVID symptoms does not predict whether or not you will be the person to go on to develop long COVID. We don't have a good understanding at all of, about the risk factors for long COVID in children and adolescents. Boston Children's Dr. Adrian Randolph is leading a national study that includes dozens of other hospitals to try to understand what protects some children and makes others susceptible. It's hard to understand why some children get long COVID, you know, and so it's just really hard to predict. And so that's why, um, you know, we want to try to prevent it. You know, that's all we can do at the moment. For now, Ella's hoping her long haul with COVID is coming to an end. Liz Nieslaus, GBH News.